Good morning. Well, here we are, the last week of our tour through Italy. And what better way to finish up the tour than by making a tiramisu for dessert. Super easy recipe that you don't even need to turn the oven on. So that's great since we're at the end of May and we're looking towards warm weather. Now, what you want to do is you want six egg yolks. Now you have to make sure your eggs are pasteurized because you're not cooking this so it's super important to remember that. And I'm going to beat them with about three tablespoons of granulated sugar. So let's get the egg yolks going first. Add in the sugar. And the mission here is to make this very light and fluffy. So it's going to take a couple of minutes. So just keep going and roll with me and you'll see what it looks like very soon. Okay, folks, as you can see, these have certainly changed in color and in consistency and it almost looks like a custard. Now at this point, this recipe isn't for the faint of heart. We're going to add in an entire pound of mascarpone cheese, which is basically an Italian cream cheese on steroids. <laughs> so that's two eight ounce containers right in here next. And the mission here is just to whisk this together and not over mix the mascarpone. So let's get our mixer going again. I made a very strong espresso and this time I used a powdered espresso and the directions are on the jar. I want to add in here just a tablespoon of the espresso and it's cooled and I'm going to use the rest in a minute. Okay, turn this off and now I took three of the egg whites and I'm going to fold them into this mixture just to lighten it. I can do this part by hand. Just a little lighten it and I whipped the egg whites until soft peaks form. This is my folding motion. Okay, our filling is done. Now I'm going to show you how to put this together. Now to the remaining espresso, I'm adding one tablespoon of dark rum. And because I like it a little sweeter, I'm also going to add in two to three tablespoons of simple syrup. I really felt that it was a little strong without it and playing around with the recipe. So that's just my embellishment. Into a shallow dish, pour all of this mixture in here, and then you're going to buy lady fingers, and I tell you where to buy them when you get the recipe. And when I say dip them quickly, I'm not kidding because they will fall apart. And on the bottom layer, what I'm doing is I'm putting the dipped side up. So now I have my first layer of lady fingers that have been dipped, the bottom of my pan. And what I'm going to do is take half of the mascarpone mixture and I'm going to put it on top and I am going to smooth it out. Because what I want to do next is I want to put another layer of lady fingers on next. On this layer, what I'm going to do is dip, but I'm going to put the dip side down. Okay, folks, now I have the dip side down, and I'm going to finish this with the rest of the mascarpone cream. So all of this goes on top, spread it across evenly, make sure you cover everything super good, cover this with uh, plastic wrap, put this in the refrigerator, and I'm going to tell you something, I like to do it at least four hours, but preferably overnight. This is what it looks like. Put this over here. It needs one last embellishment. Grated bittersweet chocolate. A full half of a cup goes on top. And you want to make sure that you grate this and I use a good quality chocolate, Ghirardelli. Don't skimp on these ingredients, folks. You won't regret it. There you go, a perfect piece of tiramisu straight out of the refrigerator and not the oven. 
I hope you download this recipe. I know you're going to love it. Miss you, love you. And you know what? Next month, I think maybe we might go to Spain. Yes. Spain, yes. Take us. Although we enjoyed Italy a lot, Rainier. That was so fun. That, oh, and that dessert, tiramisu. Can Ooh. I tell you, I, I know some people love baking, and I'm not knocking it, but when you hear about all the ingredients that go into it, I'm almost more of the, I'll just eat it. You make it, and don't tell me how much butter or mascarpone cheese is in it. I'll just... <laughs> I'll just indulge. Well, if you do want to make it, you want a copy of today's <laughs> recipe, and you can just go to our PTL page. We have it posted there for you, and you can make one just like Rainia did. It looks delicious.